That wasn't me, that was a horn honking over there. Uh, well, looks like it's going to rain. And uh, our change of weather, basically. It's going to be getting colder. And it's going to be getting uh, uh, a lot more stormier or rainy, at least. Probably just rain. Uh, it's coming in from the south. And we're going to, today, on this... Uh, episode of the Redneck Archaeologist and by the way I am Jackson Burns the Redneck Archaeologist we're going to be talking about how to judge weather uh, without listening to news radios or weathermen but how to judge the weather yourself the old-fashioned way the Native American way or the old pioneer way and we're going to be discussing how to do that right now of course we can always tell by change of weather, uh, you know, it's going to be winter time right soon, we're right before Christmas, and uh, this is 2013, but there are ways that you can actually judge that the weather is going to change. Uh, one way is, and I didn't get any footage of it, and I wish I'd done it last night, was you can take the moon and you can look at the moon, and there will be a ring around it. Uh, sort of a ring around it, uh, like a glowing ring, and that means that it's going to change the weather, whether it's good or bad. That's an old wise tale, but it's uh, actually a lot of truth in that. Other ways to be able to tell is how low a bird is flying. If a bird flies high in the air, well then you're probably going to have a pretty good day or clear. If you see birds flying very low, which we're going to try to get some footage of here after a while, show you they are basically staying low to the ground and it means that bad weather is coming. Uh, if they route or root, if the birds land and, and basically kind of huddle together, well that, that's normal. We got some birds lighting over there in that tree over there. then you can definitely know that we have bad weather plus cold weather that is coming. And they usually start doing this the day before. You can also see squirrels moving about and carrying on and eating a couple of days beforehand also. Now we'll go into what the trees have to tell us about it. Certain trees have ways of telling us what's going on. Uh, like, take this for instance, how this leaf, this is just a little plant that I keep out. I don't know. It's just a plant. It's a weed, basically. It's just not even good for anything else. But to judge the weather, I guess, is the only reason I keep these things around sometimes. Uh, uh, you can see how these are curling. And they will curl in different ways, like this one's curling in this way or so. The leaves will actually curl and tell you. Uh, let me see if I can find a better one here. Yeah, you can see how this is kind of curled like this leaf. I'm going to just actually take it off. It's, it's dying right now, so we're you know in the middle of winter, and, or just the start of winter, right before Christmas. But you can see how there's a little curl there, a little lip. It makes like a little lip. This is to funnel the water off, and so whenever the rain hits, this will be a funnel. And it's to let it just come off of it uh, naturally. Uh, normally, if they would be more flat. However, different trees and different bushes uh, give different indications of what's coming up for future weather. So, if you watch these things, uh, you will you will know what's fixing to happen. Uh, you know, it, it can't really predict tornadoes or anything like that, but uh, it can predict bad weather. Or even good weather. So let's go to something else. Ooh, really sneaky. Anyhow, you can see from here this this bush. It has 
these leaves that are bending like we were talking about. Normally these are kind of like this. You can they also droop down a little bit. You can see how this one's bent. I can't see myself, but uh, see how this one is bent for the water to come down and then actually the end of it droops down so you've actually got a natural funnel for water to run off of. You can look at these for like a day or two ahead of whatever kind of rainstorm might be coming up or any kind of, it probably won't be a rainstorm. You know, they, they, they could actually tell you almost sometimes exactly what the, the storm or the weather is going to do. In this case, they're not so bent or so, you know, bold or whatever that they're, it's only indicating to me that it's just going to be a normal type of rain. There's not going to be flooding or any big storms or any tornadoes or anything. But it will be uh, enough to be severe enough for these things to protect themselves. Uh, basically, the way they bend and they droop off is to keep it away from the base of the tree to where it doesn't actually just flood the, the tree itself. So, because if, if it didn't have all these leaves or whatever, uh, there wouldn't be any protection and most of the water just run down the base or whatever. So, you know, you can't get too much water um, sometimes, especially down here in this area. And another thing you should do is always watch the way the clouds go. Now, if the clouds come in from the north, you're looking at it's going to be really, really cold. If they come in from the south, you're looking at a warmer weather. So it's not going to be freezing, probably, whether, whatever this weather will be. It's going to be just rain coming in from the south. Now, there could be, of course, a lot of uh, tornadic activities from, from that, just mainly because the, uh, because when cold, air and hot air mix and hit one another that's where you get most of your tornado activity the tornado fronts so anyhow watch which way the weather is going the clouds are blowing uh, that will be your lead in give you a hint of whether you have to worry about freezing your butt off or uh, while this rain's coming in and snow and sleet and all that other crap or if it's going to be a warmer type weather to where you can actually you know kick back a little bit, just worry about the floods. So.